Hi there! Are you looking for videos that has something to do with the nutrition of your fishes? Well, I guess you're in the right channel. Welcome to Fish Nutrition Channel. So in the last video, we tackled about the steps on pelletizing feeds. Now, this time, in the short video, we will be highlighting the steps on packaging feeds following the general protocols of packaging. So when packaging feeds, one must take in mind these important notes. It only takes 3 to 4 months storage limit for the feeds without antioxidants. It is advisable to use PLP or polypropylene or paper bags with liners for packaging because these are strong and expensive and advisable packagings. Third, avoid too much exposure to sunlight because too much exposures for sunlight may cause the losses of vitamins, minerals, and other substances in your feeds. Fourth, it needs extra care to avoid breaking off pellets. And lastly, aqua feeds or the feeds that is eaten by your fishes are packed in small sizes of at least 5, 10 to 25 kilograms only to avoid tearing and leakage of the bags. Now let's go on to the general protocol on packaging feeds. So when you package your feeds, one must take in mind that moisture content should not be more than 10% and related humidity, humidity not greater than 65% to prevent fungal growth and insect infestation that grows best from 26 to 37 degrees Celsius. Second, temperature should not be too high to prevent destruction and the reduction of nutrients. Third, Exposure to oxygen should be limited to prevent oxidative rancidity, particularly in feeds of high lipid contents. The peroxide formed from lipid peroxidation may bind with proteins or vitamins and reduce their availability. Fourth, feed should be free from insects and rodents and spoiled feed should not be used or recycled. Next, stored in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated area and not direct sunlight. Spoilage will occur immediately if feeds become wet. Next, place on a wooden pellet and not directly on floors with not more than 5 bags per pellet if intended for long storage. Feeds should be stored away from walls to avoid moisture accumulation due to the heat transfer from the wall to the feed during sudden temperature changes. Next, use within 3 months from time of processing and production. The feeds on that is stored should be the first to be used. The first-in, first-out policy of storage should be strictly observed. Again, first-in and first-out policy. So, aqua feeds are very important for the nutrition and the diet of your feeds. This is where the nutrients that your fish needed came from. That is why, in packaging and storing of your feeds, it is very important to take in mind those protocols and the important notes that needed to be considered in order to have a successful feed production and so as the aquaculture industry. So once again, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. And again, for more nutritious advice of your fishes, don't forget to follow this page to be more updated on the latest videos.